The Litter Robot 4 is equipped with OmniSense detection that utilizes laser and weight sensor technology to provide real-time litter and waste drawer levels. OmniSense also supports the Safe Cat system, which continuously analyzes four safety zones to ensure your cat is always safe. There are three laser sensors located in the top of the bezel, as well as a cat sensor weight scale located in the base of the unit. These sensors detect when a cat has entered or exited the unit. Let's take a closer look at the three laser sensors, called curtain sensors, located in the bezel. Debris such as dust or cat fur can interfere with the operation of these sensors. This can cause the unit to inaccurately measure the waste drawer level and litter level, as well as falsely detecting a cat. Wipe the bezel area where the sensors are located with a dry clean cloth to remove debris such as hair or dust. Vacuum the inside perimeter of the bezel where the curtain sensors are located. Now, let's run a test cycle. Short press the reset button, then short press the cycle button to run a clean cycle. After your litter robot cycles, it should return to the home position, displaying a solid blue light. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, please follow these troubleshooting steps. Let's check for any additional debris or foreign objects that may interfere with the sensors during the cycle. First, we will remove the bonnet and globe to look for any issues. Make sure the unit is in the home position. Press the power button to turn the unit off, then unplug the unit from the wall. If you have a fence installed, remove this from the bezel. To open the bonnet, press and hold the latches on both sides of the bonnet, then lift and rotate the bonnet to its open position. Note, you typically need to remove the bonnet completely only during deep cleaning or bonnet replacement. To remove the globe, Grab the black handle located on top of the globe and lift the globe off the base. Lift the globe up and away from the base and place it on the ground nearby. This will provide access to the base unit. Remove the waste drawer and empty or set aside. Cat fur can get stuck in the seal strip located at the lower front of the globe. When the globe rotates, fur can interfere with the curtain sensors. Ensure the seal strips on the inside of the globe are not peeling up or have any debris stuck in them. With the globe, bonnet, and drawer removed, lean the unit backwards so that you can look into the holes on the bezel to see each sensor. Using a clean, dry cotton swab, carefully clean the surface of each sensor to remove any dust. It is important to note that it will be very difficult to see any dust, specifically on the sensors. Lightly cleaning the surface will help remove any debris that might be interfering with them. Now that we've checked for any obstructions, let's reinstall the globe and bonnet and check for proper operation of the unit. To install the globe, hold the globe by the black handle and set it into the base. Keep the globe handle and waste port oriented toward the top to ensure the globe is close to the home position. The large black gear on the rear of the globe should easily engage with the smaller white drive gear in the base. If the bonnet was completely removed, rotate the bonnet upward and align the hinge feature of the bonnet at the back of the base. You should hear the latches snap into place. Check to make sure the center tab at the top of the bonnet is secured in its pocket by pushing down on the bonnet at the tab location. Reinstall the fence by snapping it onto the bezel at the globe entrance. Plug the unit in and power it on. Thanks for watching. For further assistance, please visit whiskersupport.com to access additional video tutorials, manuals, and our interactive self-guided troubleshooter.